this is continuation of the previous video on Compton effect where we had derived the uh, Compton effect the equation which describes the Compton effect and uh, it constitutes a very strong evidence in support of the quantum theory of radiation so this equation delta lambda is equal to lambda c into 1 minus cos phi here delta lambda is the wavelength change of the photon and lambda c is the Compton wavelength and phi is the angle of scattering of the photon. So this gives a change in wavelength expected for a photon that is uh, scattered through an angle phi by a particle of mass m of rest mass m and you can see that that's independent of the wavelength lambda of the incident photon. Now let's analyze the experimental observations, experimental setup as well as the uh, observations of Compton effect. Before that let's see what all will be the values of delta lambda for different angles that is phi. So first let's uh, take angle to be 0. So substituting in the equation delta lambda equal to lambda c into 1 minus cos 0. You know cos 0 is 1. So 1 minus 1 will lead to 0 therefore lambda delta lambda is lambda prime minus lambda that become equal to 0 which means lambda prime is equal to lambda that is the incident as well as the scattered photon will have the same wavelength that is the result or conclusion that we can have from that now another angle say uh, 90 degree uh, delta lambda will be given by lambda c into 1 minus cos 90 cos 90 is 0 so you get it as lambda c itself which is 2.42 picometer now for an angle 180 degree you see here cos 180 is minus 1 so the equation becomes 1 minus minus 1 which is 2 therefore delta lambda become equal to 2 times lambda c so you see that we get a maximum change in wavelength for an angle of 180 degree that is twice the Compton wavelength that is 2 into 2.42 picometer which comes to be 4.82 picometer so uh, just uh, plotting the same thing in a graph we plot it for uh, 90 degree as well as for a 180 degree so this in effect shows uh, that can, we have seen the collision between a photon and a uh, electron which is at rest and we have it, it proves that electromagnetic waves shows particle behavior because it's just like a collision between a billiard ball because we had the idea that electromagnetic waves have wave nature only but here you see that in order for this uh, phenomenon to be uh, possible electromagnetic waves should behave as a Particle. So this is an excellent proof that wave, waves or electromagnetic waves shows the particle behavior as well. Now the, to the experimental demonstration. So we have a, a source of X-ray here. That's a monochromatic source having a single wavelength. It is uh, directed at to a target. Target is here. It passes through collimators. To narrow down the beam we have collimators so it hits the uh, target over here and uh, the uh, scattered photon scattered photons are caught using this uh, spectrometer the spectrometer may be moved throughout this angles and we may catch the intensity of the uh, uh, of the photons that is uh, scattered so the angle phi is the angle between a normal and the uh, scattered photon so all at all points the intensity may be caught and you can uh, see that the experimental results are very well in uh, terms or with the uh, equation that we had derived so so this is how the experimental uh, graphs look like intensity of versus lambda for different angles you see that for uh, theta phi equal to 0 degree we don't have a uh, another peak delta lambda prime is equal to lambda that's what we obtained beforehand now for phi equal to 90 degree you can see there is a small shift here delta lambda is the uh, change in wavelength that we have got and for 180 degree we got it to be 2 lambda c so it's more in 180 
uh, degree. So this is how we uh, experimentally demonstrated the Compton effect and the uh, validation of the theory from experimental results. So this is all about Compton effect, uh, which is an excellent example to demonstrate the particle property of waves. Thank you.